process of batik is um, it's a wax resist and it works on the basis that the oily wax resists the watery dye. I usually draw my design in pencil first, um, on, straight onto the cloth. Sometimes I use sketches, uh, sketchbook, but usually I work um, straight onto the cloth and I stretch that out onto a frame. Then I begin um, to apply the wax. There are many different ways of applying wax, but mostly I use um, hog's hair oil brushes and I use chantings, which are wax pens. Chantings evolved in Indonesia, uh, but these are sort of westernised versions. I paint the hot wax which is beeswax, uh, pure beeswax I like to use, but you can use a mixture of paraffin wax and beeswax. And I paint out all the areas that I want to keep white, the colour of the cloth. The next stage is to apply some colour, and that's done with these dyes, the fibre reactive dyes, or sometimes called Procyon dyes. They're mixed with water and a fixative, um, soda ash and salt. I start off with a very, very pale wash of colour. In fact, I wet the fabric first so that the first dye that goes on is very, very soft. It may be just a hint, maybe just a cream or a light uh, yellow, a very pale primrose yellow. By starting very light, then you leave yourself plenty of room to add more and more dark. So I work through the colours slowly it may be that I'll, I may use um, 17, 18 to, to over 20 colours in one piece of work. It just depends. But um, I take things slowly, working in stages. Once the uh, colour has been applied, then it's a matter of leaving it to dry. I add a second layer of wax to the colour that I've just applied. And then you can add another darker dye. So you keep repeating these processes, applying the wax, putting dye on and then drying the cloth and then putting another layer of wax on, another layer of dye and then drying the cloth again. So it's working in stages, one colour at a time and then sealing each colour color with wax to protect it before you put the next dye colour on. It's all quite a meditative process. I often have music on while I'm working and um, get into the music and I forget about time and just lose myself in my work. Eventually the whole of the cloth is covered with wax and there's no space left to go. And um, so there's a very definite finishing point for batik. Sometimes I'll dip dye the cloth into a bucket and that's um, quite an exciting process. I stretch the batiks onto a mount board and then take them to my framer. I sell my work through um, several local North Yorkshire galleries but also um, have a chance to exhibit further afield um, from time to time with the Batik Guild and other national exhibitions. Mm -hmm.